still got on a fucking cowboy hat. <laughs> Why, dude? <laughs> you have a cowboy job? Oh, you used to ride bulls. Three championships? Two championships. You could have lied and said three. We all would have believed you. If you would have said 15 championships, we all would have been like, yep. You could have lied to us entirely. What's up? What's your record time? Eight, eight, six? Eight seconds. Damn, dude, that's way too long, right, fellas? <laughs> Fuck you showing off for, man. You what now? Make for some of the best rodeo sex you can have. <laughs> Am I talking to fucking boom power right now? You know, he's going down on the rodeo, man. Eight seconds. You are, you are the most fitting person I've ever met to wear a cowboy hat thus far. Usually. Usually I just meet people who love camping with their buddies. Look at the Marine Corps over there doing Marine Corps. That is awesome, man. Been a lot of many places. Been in many places. I can write a fucking book about myself. You can write a book. You should write a book, dude. Don't do an audio book, but... <laughs> Not many people speak Copenhagen. <laughs> When he comes, he just goes. <laughs> How long have you guys been married? About a year. About a year? Oh, okay, this makes so much more sense. How long have you been together? Um, we've known each other 20 something years. Oh, you've known each other for over 20 years? Oh, okay. And then you were like, I didn't find anybody. <laughs> You wanna? Eight seconds. <laughs> what happened to your fucking leg, dude? <laughs> I just noticed you, had, you, have a, you got a boot on. What happened? Fell off a curb. You fell off a curb? <laughs> <laughs> we are seeing the full spectrum of men here tonight. We are seeing. From uh, a man who rides dinosaurs <laughs> to a man who can't step off a six inch curve. Bro, do you have on a cowboy hat? You waited a second like there was anybody else who was even possibly wearing a cowboy hat. What's your name, man? Who are you here with? My wife. What's your name, wife? Cassandra. Cassandra? Nice to meet you. Does he wear this all the time? You got used to it. Isn't that what marriage is all about? You meet somebody and you get used to it. Do you have a, a cowboy job? No. You're a firefighter? When was the last fire that you fought? Literally yesterday? Man, I would love to believe you were white before you went in. And your name was Tyler. It was hot as a bitch in there, and he came out and he was like, it's Tyrone. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Oh, firefighters are so cool. You ever been in a calendar? <laughs> no? Bro, what's your station called? Station two? Station two, gotta come out with a calendar, man. You, you gotta do February. It's Black History Month, in case Embarrassing for y'all. Fuck. Hey Cassandra, what do you do? You're a teacher? Man, isn't that crazy that that's way more dangerous than what he does? What do you teach? Like, what, what grade? You're with infants right now? You a babysitter. Huh? What'd you say? Why are you singing it? <laughs> What's wrong with the cowboys? What in the Dixie chick is going on right now, dude? 
You got hair under there? Yeah. Nah, you ball? Oh, you hat fishing. It does look clean. I thought I saw a cowboy hat over there. There, actually, there it is. What's up, man? Why do you know that? He walked past you and you smelled him? That's so creepy. What if the front row would have done that when she walked by the shit and everybody was like. You don't smell people on purpose when they walk by. What does he, sm what does he smell like? Dandelions in Copenhagen? What cologne do you wear? Sexy for him. Sexy for him? <laughs> you broke your back in two places? Yeah. Doing what? <laughs> A parachute accident? It's the whitest way to get injured, dude. It's the whitest way. You're making us look terrible right now. You were, you were in the service? Which branch? Army? Oh, good shit. Thanks for your service. Uh, was it a equipment malfunction or land wrong? Equipment malfunction. Equipment? That's like the worst. That's like the worst thing that could happen. I've been I've been skydiving four times, and I'm I'm gonna keep the dude strapped in my bag. Because <laughs> I know for the military, if you're if you're any kind of paratrooper, they make you learn. But the first time you jump out of a plane is by yourself, right? Yes. See, that's fucking insane. Anybody with even slight depression would be like, you know what? <laughs> if I just think about it for another 35 seconds, it'll take care of itself. <laughs> I don't trust myself. Do you guys have that thing where like, if you stand next to like a railing on a balcony, like you feel like your body's gonna go, fuck it. <laughs> That's the feeling I would have if I had a parachute by myself and I would be like, let's go. Was it during training or were you stationed, were you getting stationed somewhere? We were on a mission in Iraq. You were on a mission in Iraq? I don't think you're supposed to talk about this. <laughs> Was this your first mission? No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> well, imagine your first time, you're like, let's fucking go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I know there aren't trees there, but it, I pictured trees. Well, first and foremost, thank you for your service. Um, second, I, I still want to know what you smell like. <laughs> smell like murder. Because, <laughs> dude, war veterans will get dark real quick, man. It smells like what it looks like to take a man's life and watch his breath leave his body. <laughs> Sexy for him. <laughs> Man, got a fucking cowboy hat in here. What's up, dude? Looking good. Oh, put that back on immediately. Oh, shit. I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't realize I was talking to a thumb. My bad. Yeah. It's a good look for you, bro. I'm so jealous. I could never wear a cowboy hat, dude. I would, I would look like Heath Ledger butt fucks me in a mountain, dude. <laughs> could never. I, look, I look like I have a 10 gallon asshole. Like, <laughs> I could never pull off some shit like that. I don't have the head for it. Oh, all this hair as I was getting in the way. Sorry, sorry. Do you do you, do you have do you have a cowboy job? I do. What do you do? I am an investor in ranching. You're an investor in ranching, like the dressing, or like farms and shit. Farms and shit. How do you invest in a ranch? Like you like what? What are some qualifications? You just gotta sound like that. That's all you gotta do. So what are you looking to do? I tell you what. It's yours. It's yours. As much money as you want. Oh, man. Accent is so terrifying because like it's so endearing, but like it feels like you could say the N word at any moment. I like, really could, dude. You're terrifying, bro. Getting who in trouble? Us men. Manly men. <laughs> First of all, check your tone, Doug Diggadone. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> this is right. I'm trying to speak up for us, all right? I'm trying to help us out right now. There's nine of us in here. We need to unite, okay? You have weed right there? Can I have it? We don't smoke in Texas. Are you from Texas? Oh, that makes so much more sense, man. I thought you managed a fucking Texas Roadhouse nearby or something. But you personally don't smoke? No, sir. Have you ever? I have. I was drunk. You were drunk when you did it? Are you drunk now? I Double or nothing. You want a hit? Come on, man. Come on. I'm going to toss it to you. <laughs> Why you treat me like I'm a cop right now? You're like, this is drugs I'm holding right now, and you want to watch me do it? Now make sure you're hitting the right end of it. Don't fucking, don't suck on the USB cord. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hey, stop! 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 Oh no! Oh no! 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 I need you to sign a waiver immediately, dude. We just killed a guy, dude. That was way too much. I can't see it. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. You know you're still standing, right? <laughs> we actually didn't get your name. What was it? TC. Okay. You mean like THC? If your middle name is Henry, I'll lose it right now. Are you okay? Careful. What's your middle name, TC? Terry Cunningham, TC. <laughs> Terry Cunningham. Real quick, what's your social security number? Who gave this to you? A stranger. <laughs> Who's from Texas? Who you think from Texas, man? <laughs> Sit down, Statue of Liberty. <laughs> so I'm, I'm 65, she's 40. You're 65? <laughs> that I can't hear you if you sit down. You don't have to keep doing squats, man. The last time somebody was up here like this talking to him, he was in prison. He had to be like, Your Honor, I actually want to have to one. The other wife was 35. And like, <laughs> I wanna, how, was that? February the 7th, I turned 65. And she's 41. And 41? Where did you guys meet? A lot of zeros. A lot of zeros? <laughs> did you think he said he bought her, too? <laughs> Some Texas traditions never die. That's crazy. He said, I got a dating app. It's called Chase Bank, bitch. What you doing? <laughs> what, man? <laughs> I'm going to say it helps. I'm hung like a mule. <laughs> he said he's hung like a mule. <laughs> Ask me why I'm 65. She's 41. Four questions ago I asked that. <laughs> Are you asking me why I think no. you deserve her? No. That's a deep you question. Me why do I deserve a 41-year-old? No, I'm asking how you met. I didn't say deserve. It wasn't that deep at all. Hey, because you don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Man. What's up, man? Why are you standing like you're doing magic right now? <laughs> From the window! <laughs> the sweat drop down my balls! All these bitches come! All these bitches keep moving! Dude, look how big this fucking drink is right here. You got, that looks like the shit you throw on a head coach after you win the Super Bowl, bro. Your, yours is a different thing. That's a mule? No, that's a mule. <laughs> Sit down, C 
BT? No, he's cool. He's cool. He's chilling. He's chilling. He's chilling. He's good. He's good. He's good.